Hey guys, it's Amber and Mike, and I just wanted to come on here and talk about a little bit. This is kind of off the topic of anything we normally talk about on this channel, but it's going on right now. It affects us in particular because it's only an hour from here, and what I'm referring to are the riots and everything that's going on in Charlotte, North Carolina as a result of the shooting that happened what, yesterday yeah. afternoon um, of the man who allegedly was armed. Um, there is a question from some of his relatives whether or not it was a book. They say they haven't found a book, but they found a gun. Anyway, um, we all know that this is not, definitely not the first of these types of shootings that has happened. Yep. But it's the closest one to us. And um, we used to live in Charlotte. Like I said, it's only about an hour from where we are now. Mike, up until when he got laid off, um, worked in Charlotte. And right. so this hits a little bit close to home. And, you know, very close. social media has been blowing up. And even the people um, who are on my friends list, there are varying opinions on it. And one of the things that spurred me to make this video was... The idea that we need to talk to our friends, husbands, anyone of um, a darker skin tone. You may call him black, fine, whatever. Um, <laughs> Some of my best friends are black. <laughs> and so, and, and the, the thing that I've heard is that we need to talk to them and find out why they're mad. Um <laughs> The thing that I mentioned to Mike just a few minutes ago, though, was that that statement assumes that everyone of Mike's skin complexion right. is going to have the exact same feelings on the subject. Do you? Does everyone who is your shade feel the same way on this subject? Absolutely not. Because um, you're and, here, you're not up there. Exactly. Rioting and to plot and to imply that we do or that we should is in itself racist. So. um if there's a lot of, you know, white guilt out there going on, you know, you you want to ask us why we're all mad. We're not all mad. And, um, you know, like, like I just said, to imply that we are, we're supposed to be is in itself racist. So just, uh, let's make that point first. Um, let's establish that, that not everyone agrees uh, with what's going on. Not, uh, not everyone feels, not everyone of color feels it's appropriate to, you know, throw rocks and bricks and stuff off bridges or take uh, merchandise from trucks and burn it, you know, burn up other people's deliveries and, and things of that nature or throwing throwing rocks through car windows or, or fighting or hitting people with objects and things of that. I mean, come on, really? So every, every you know, blanket across the board, every people... Every person of African descent, every person with my skin tone is supposed to be automatically on board with that? No. So what do you feel like, I mean, we should, in in these cases, and some of them we know are um, cases of people that are resisting arrest, mm -hmm. and um, it's unfortunate that yeah. the shade of the person who was killed was was one shade and the person who did the shooting was another. Mm. Um, in any cases where, I'm, I don't know that death is ever justified, but a police officer has to protect their life if they feel like they're being threatened. Yeah. Um, so we, we should be angry about injustice right. when it happens, um, but to believe every single thing you read on Facebook, yeah. see on YouTube, Twitter, whatever, um, as absolute truth is taking it. Uh, that's not the right yeah. way to do it. it. Yes. And people are really going off the def deep end and they're, they're making knee jerk reactions based on limited knowledge, limited information. Um, just their understanding of, of what has transpired is limited. Um, you only know, for the most part, I mean, especially on social media, you only know what you read from other people's posts on social media. And uh, you also know if there is a, a news, a media slant, if there is an objective, is there, if there is an agenda for um, purveying, purveying a certain narrative, um, you have to be mindful of that as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are people out there that... Uh, 
they want to see law enforcement change. Um, there are people out there that want to see law enforcement federalized and controlled by one ent entity, uh, controlled from a central uh, entity, as it were. And um, you have to take a look at that. There are people that are funding protests, uh, protesters out there that are, you know, out there in the middle of the day, you know, not working actual jobs, but somehow, you know, they're being paid. You know, how has that happened? And it's 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 come out that people are actually funding, you know, these protesters to go out and do this stuff in the middle of the, in the middle of the broad daylight. People that don't even live in the cities that are affected, you know, are coming to those cities to protest. Um, and what's going on out uptown in Charlotte right now? I mean, I think it'd be safe to say that they're not all Charlatans that are up there doing all that nonsense. Um, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we have to we have to read between the lines. We have to figure out what is being said here. What is what is the message? What is the underlying message? What is the underlying current? You know, why of all the uh, the cases of deadly force used by police officers, black and white, against people that are black and white and every other color in between and every other nationality and race and culture. Uh, you, you have one here, one here, one here, and the media wants to portray that as, oh, there's the cops have a war on black people. I mean, come on. I mean, let's let's do some research. Let's, let's look st statistically at, at how many deaths occurred this year from all people, not just black people, but all people. And I believe you'll find that uh, blacks um, are not the highest number of people that have been murdered. I mean, by cops, by cops. I mean, we, we need to. It's just and it is un, it is unfortunate when we hear news of these things happening. I personally get weary. I hate to see it. And um the stories are the stories that come out they're they're underreported we don't get all the facts you know when we first read those articles as they happen we don't get all the details we never do you know there there's there's always something left to the story left out of the story like this the situation here in Charlotte i mean how many people know even at this point that the cop that shot the young african american man was himself an african american Why, why, why is, why isn't that being discussed? The first, when this first story, when this story first came out, we heard cop shoots unarmed black man. How come, the, how come the headline didn't say black cop shoots unarmed black man? You know, why didn't we hear that? But and then, now and because then, and then, and then within that same article, it says, oh well, you know, you know, the the, the report is that he he did have a gun, but the headline said unarmed. Which is it? But obviously, I mean, a couple of days ago, we had Tulsa. We had that situation come out. And I guess the laws or the policies are different in, in that state and in that city, you know, where we almost immediately saw the, the footage of the shooting. And um, it was said, of course, that his hands were up. But when, you, but when you look closely at the video, and even I've even seen screenshots of the, of the moment the man was shot, his arms were down. And you could only see one of his hands, and one hand was down at his waist. I mean, we we really don't know. Also, we don't have the we don't have the dialogue, the discourse, the you know mm -hmm. the the conversation that took place between the two. I mean, we really we really don't have the whole picture. Even as we're looking at the picture itself, we really don't have the whole picture. I mean, people are so quick to rush to judgment. People are so quick to to just riot and and have this crazy amount of outrage and they think it's pre preposterous of you to even bring up the fact that there are murders taking place by the dozens by the 20s and 30s even by the hundreds in a single weekend in cities like chicago but mm -hmm. you know that's never discussed and it's offensive for you to even bring that up because a cop was not involved because the criminals are that are that are the gangsters that are shooting up people they're always arrested they're always found but you know these Cops that kill people, they get paid vacations. That may or may not be true. I mean, how, how many homicides have taken place in the past weekend in Chicago that they still haven't found the people and probably never will? Mm -hmm. I mean, that is still unjust. And those, pe those people have still lost family members. 
that are affected by those tragedy, tra uh, tragedies. But why is there never any outrage about that? Yeah. I mean, that really bothers me. So what should... So there, there's a whole movement of people who, you know, um, feel like because we're lighter um, in, in skin color and, and years back, it's possible that our ancestors were slave, black slave owners. And we are supposed to feel guilty because of what they did. And so now because of what's going on. I don't even know what they think we're supposed to feel, but since I'm supposed to ask someone <laughs> <laughs> who is quote unquote black, why you're mad and yeah. like, what, what should we be doing about it as well, white um, folk? First of all, uh, for all, I mean, in our household, we don't, we don't even use terms white and black anymore. But nah, we, I, I we, use that for you guys. Yeah, we we use do. that for your benefit because you guys use that. But uh, let me say this as a black, as a black man, let me just uh, say to all white people out there, white guilt doesn't make you down for the cause. Okay? Let me, let me just say that right there. I mean, um, it's just, there's nothing for you to feel guilty about unless you personally have slaves chained up in your backyard. If you have a magnolia tree in the front of your house and you got a slave tied to it and you whip them, you know, occasionally... <laughs> It's not funny, I mean, but... No, it's, 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 it's funny, but it's not funny. Because, I mean, why would I blame you for slavery when you had nothing to do with it? Your your parents had nothing to do with it. Your grandparents had nothing to do with it. Yeah. And, you know, you... So it's... I mean, it's... People, people, like to, people like to insert themselves first person into situations that they had zero to do with. I mean, even the black people that are angry at white people for slavery, you yourself were never a slave. You're, you're, you were not a slave. You are not. You were not. Your daddy was not. Your granddaddy was not. All right? We need to get that straight as well. And also consider the fact that colonial slavery, American colonial slavery, um, the transcontinental slave trade, even English uh, you know, British slavery is not the only slavery that existed, you know, in the history of the human race. Um, there's slavery that is still going on right now in Africa. You know, there are Arabs taking taking black African slaves right now as we speak. Hmm. It's happening. And nobody's up in arms about that. No, nobody's up in arms about slavery when it comes. I mean, in African slavery, there are African slaves right now. As I'm sitting here talking to you, there, there, are, there are black people in Africa being kidnapped and sold into slavery. But that's okay. But that's, that's it's okay. over there. That's okay because, you know, they're, they're, they're going to the Middle East. They're being taken to Saudi Arabia. You know what I'm saying? That, that's okay. That's cool. But the, the, trans, the transatlantic slave trade that happened in the 16th, 17th, and 1800s, that is a travesty. And it's the only one we should be worried about. And you, white people... It's my fault. Yeah, it's your fault. It's yeah. It's all my fault. You deserve to be, you personally deserve to pay me reparations. See, that's why I married him because yeah. I, I cook for him, I clean for him, I have his children. Yeah, I guess that's not fair for me to say. I'm getting my reparations. <laughs> yes. That's it. I'm Where's just, my sandwich? Just Give me my that's, sandwich. That's not the way our marriage runs, by the way. <laughs> White woman. <laughs> So, okay, it was also brought up to my attention recently that some black people are offended when we say that we are all one race. We are the human race. Um, does that offend you? That doesn't offend me because that is the actual truth. The, I understand that the truth does offend some people because they choose to remain in ignorance. Uh, I, however, uh, I prefer truth. I prefer that you speak to me truthfully. And tell me the truth and uh, sit and listen while I tell you the truth and we can have a discourse on truth together. I appreciate truth. And the truth is there is one race on this planet. That race is the human race. We are different colors. Different colors doesn't equal different species. No. There's only one race of human beings. 
Yep. I mean, you can have different cultures. You can be from different places. You yeah. can have different hair textures. Yeah. You can have, like, my skin is really dry and his skin is really oily. <coughs> you can have different food preferences and different histories. You can have all of that, and that's yeah. fine. And you can, you know, if you want to have, um, you know, celebrate Black History Month or and, and celebrate, you know, what your history is, totally fine. Yeah. Um, if I had some really, like, if I were Greek and wanted to go to a Greek festival, I mean, that would be celebrating my history. I don't have anything yeah. awesome like that. Um, but that doesn't make you a different race. No. I mean, God made people. Right. He made animals, fish, and birds. Yeah. There is a diversity within our race, our collective race of people, but there's only one people. And there's one, only one blood, one set of ancestors. Yeah. And, and like, you know, we, there's a lot of things that are offensive, but there's still truth. I mean, yeah. um, a lot of people are offended that I get on here. I mean, I've had comments, people who are offended that I get on here and I talk about God and I say, God bless at the end. And mm -hmm. um, they're offended at that. Does, is that going to make me stop talking about it because mm -hmm. it's not true or it's, it's going to make somebody mad? No. I'm, I could care less. If you haven't figured that out, then I don't know why you're watching my channel. I know. Um, <laughs> Keep watching, though. Are you... Yeah, your views are helping. Yeah, thank you. Um, there are people who are offended yeah. because I married someone who is not the same shade as me. Get over it. That's Get your problem. Skin color. I, I mean, whatever. I did not go and marry, you know, a horse. I, I married <laughs> a person. A person. And... Oh my goodness. I, I'm sorry, but if you're offended by anything that I talk about, any, my marriage, whatever, that's that's not my problem. Yes, um, it's really theirs. And this video has turned out... I mean, out there, there are people that can tan themselves and, and become as dark as me. Not me. Yeah. I burn bad. Yeah. I can actually get a little darker myself. In he a does. Sense. Yeah. A little bit. You yeah. should use sunscreen. Yeah. I have this built-in sunscreen. But you're still supposed to wear it. Why is that? Why, why is that? You know why that is? Because you can why still get skin cancer. No, well, I ain't gonna get no skin cancer. No, you're not, because you're protected by Jesus. Okay, Jesus. so this video is longer than I really <laughs> intended it to be, but I, I did want to talk about this, because um, in case you're one of the people mm -hmm. um, who watch you know, my, my channel, and you don't know what to say about all of this, because... Maybe you're white. And like I said, I use that phrase for you guys, not for yeah. me. I don't call myself white. One day I'm going to do a little color demonstration for you guys. I did this for Mike and show you, um, like if you're painting, how you actually would achieve a Caucasian skin tone That's and a black skin tone. Yeah. And to get my skin color, there's no white in it. And to get his skin color, there's no black in it. Remarkable, huh? So I want to show you that. Um, and they're very, very realistic skin tones. But that will That's show awesome. you that I'm not white and he's not black. That's just phrasing that somebody made up. Yeah, it's a, it, it's, it's a social construct that was designed to divide us. That's all it was. And, and, and before I get, uh, before I forget, um, speaking of, you know, the, the cases that are before us, before us, to, um, you know, the, the individual that was shot here in Charlotte and the individual that was shot in Tulsa. I mean, my heart goes out to, the, to their families. Uh, to their children, especially um, to their parents, whom they preceded in death, unfortunately, you know, for siblings. I mean, and we know that there are some bad shootings out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not denying that. And I, I, there's, you know, there's some dirty cops out there. I know that too. And, you know, this, this, I mean, there's enough, there's enough evil and madness and craziness to go around, and there, there, there are questions that can go around. Like like the shooter, you know the 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 lady cop in Tulsa. Why in the world didn't she have her dash cam on? Why didn't we see what her deal was? Why didn't she have a taser? You know, there, there's there's there are things, and you don't always know, you know, right off the bat whether this was just you know, a malicious, vicious, evil shooting. You know, race based. You know, I just I'm gonna go after. I mean, there's there's no way we we can judge that from from a couple of headlines. We we really don't know, and we don't and, and we don't know whether it was that or whether it was you know some neg negligence, or you know 
improper procedure, you know, protocols not followed. We, we, don't, we don't know any of that. It could be all of that. It could be some of that. It could be none of that. We really don't know. And we really, we really need to stop jumping off the handle, flying off the handle, mm -hmm. and allowing every story to divide us. Because in my opinion, you know, that some, some mm -hmm. of this stuff I think is put out there in a certain way as to keep us divided yeah. and distract us from other issues that are going on. I mean, and if, you, if, any, if any of you out there were uh, friends with me on Facebook, you would see, you know, that some of the some of the things that are going on right now that stuff like this kind of masks and just takes everyone's eyes off of, mm -hmm. you know, things like world changing, like events taking place right now that you will never hear about because, you know, every couple of months a cop shoots somebody and that becomes the headline all across the board and all the major networks. Mm -hmm. Or you got Colin Kaepernick, you know, kneeling for the flag. All of the networks cover it and ignore some important, possibly cataclysmic, cataclysmic events, you know, in the works taking place right now, mm -hmm. right under our noses that are being virtually ignored by the media. And just man, we need to wake up. Yeah, as I I see a lot of this as a smokescreen. I know lives were lost. I know people are hurt, families are torn apart. But still, there's there's a lot more than this that's going on in this world right now, and we need to wake up to all of it. Mm -hmm. Man, that's my soapbox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't mean to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do, and I do want to mention before we quit that I think that you know there's a lot of discussion about what what can what can be done to solve this problem, and clearly the rioting and all that garbage is not the answer to it. But I also don't think that anything that further divides us is the answer to any of this. And so that's why I say you know it doesn't really matter to me if somebody is offended. Because I say that we're all one race. Um, the only thing I think that is going to change this and, you know, from the studying that and, and the reading about and, and learning about, you know, the history of the civil rights movement and what Dr. Martin Luther King did. It was like he said in his speech, it we, we have to come together, and, but it's yeah. going to be. It has to be a change of heart and a change of the mind. And so anything that further divides us. So, like I said, you can celebrate your culture and your history and, and whatever. But to say that I'm one race and you're one race, that's division. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the same thing that goes. Those are the same people who say that our kids are black because Mike is, you know, yeah. the one drop rule. So I think that. It would do a. It, we're not fighting against one another. It's yeah. not white people fighting against black people. It's not black people fighting against cops. Mm -hmm. um, I would say if we want to fight against anything, we as a people should come together and fight against our ridiculous and corrupt government that um, oh. collectively mm. we have voted in. I didn't vote them in, <laughs> um, but apparently the majority did. Um, yep. That's what we're fighting against, guys. Yeah. And well, you know what? I mean, you know, now that you're on that, I mean, who who stands the most to gain from us being divided? Mm -hmm. You know, it isn't us. Are we benefiting from division? Mm -hmm. I'm not. <laughs> but somebody is. Think but, about it. Please. Use your brain. God gave you a brain. It still works. Even if everybody else in your family believes a certain way, you don't have to. How do I know this? Cause I'm married to this one and, um, you know, the majority of people that, um, that is in Mike's family doesn't believe the way that Mike does about these things. Um, but you know, he was able to, to think for himself yeah. basically. Um, I, and I, and I don't just think this way because I'm married to a white woman. No. Um, you know, I, I well, I'm, I'm not going to get into politics and bipartisan, bipartisan talk, but we can do another video if you'd like. Yeah, Comment we, below. We, we can do another. We can talk about politics uh, if you're interested in hearing more of that. But um, you know, I, I used to, I used to pretty much toe the, uh, toe the line as far as the, um, 
you know, the, the, the traditional um, thought uh, or pervasive thought among Africans of uh, Americans of African descent in this country, especially politically. Uh, I used to tell that line up until uh, probably around 96, I would say. And then I began to question things and uh, figure out, well, why is my entire quote-unquote race supposed to think only one way? You know, why is that? You know, why, why is that expected when mm -hmm. no other race, that's not, that's <clears throat> not required. It's, that isn't expected. But for my race, you know, we're all supposed to be the same. I mean, that's, and that's why you get those questions like, why, why are they all mad? Are they all mad at, at me? Why, why? All of them. They're mad. Why? Why are you mad? All of you. <laughs> Don't be mad. We are not all mad. Because we, because we don't all think the same way. Just like we, white folk, don't all think the same way. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got to go. Okay. This is going to be like almost a 30-minute video. It's getting late. Mm. So, all right. Comment below. Um, I will delete stupid comments, so just so you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd like to hear what you think. If this made you think about anything, if this you know, gave you a new insight onto this whole situation, um, we can have a good discussion on that in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you want this occasional, you know, real talk, I guess. Real, real talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. God bless. Bye. Bye.